What is up guys, I'm Peter Cole and welcome back to our Undertale Pacifist Let's Play series. This time we are going to talk to Sans, go back and talk with him at the Grillbees, and then we are also going to go on the date with the Pyrus and see how far we can get. So let's get into it. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Yeah, of course. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, should we do fries or a burger? Uh, let's get a burger. I mean, we want to eat a real meal, right? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother? Cool, of course. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Freaking papyrus, man. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. Did he just drink that whole thing of ketchup? That's gross. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. I can tell. <laughs> his fabled blue attack is kinda cool though. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. I love that, the spotlight goes on them. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. And I think that's flowy. I think that's what I decided last time is we think that's flowy. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G's. I got that. I'm rich. Yes, just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. That'd be so funny if it really was 10,000 gold. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Thanks. Good job. Right, let's talk to everyone here. I don't know if I did before. Grilbs said that your food is probably cold by now. Oh. Can I actually eat my food? No? Oh, that's too bad. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. I'm sure you do, Mr. Glasses up there. Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Thanks for that. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. <laughs> That's too self, um, self-aware. I was hoping Sans came to give me a pat on the head. Interloper! I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults! We can handle it! 
Yes, Kenzie, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Oh, okay, that one. Sen's interesting. He's told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Because they might not be real. He might not be a real G when it comes to those foods. He just heard of them. Read them out the library. He read about them at the library. All right, Papyrus, let's do this. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh, we're going to Grillby's, bro. Oh, oh, no, we're not. Freaking papyrus. I love how he walks. My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Of course it is. Of course! My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but it filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! What is it, like a Pop-Tart or something? I don't even know what a quiche is, so... Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <gasps> what? Catch a meddling canine! I tried. Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That was an art show. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. There you go, I visited it. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Oh, nice. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> Let's go explore. Wait, what does he have to say? Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Sans, let me in, ya punk. What is this? It looks like fire is coming out of our door. I want, I'm so curious as to what's in there. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yeah, I think we're going inside, guys. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. I love that, like, what is it? Are they bones? They are bones. That's interesting. He actually used real bones on me? Hmm. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I wonder who that is. He says he's he's 12 away from a double digit follower count, which must mean that he has negative two followers, which is hilarious. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Well, that was interesting. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. <laughs> Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I'm surprised he only wears his battle body. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. 
<laughs> All right, Papyrus. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that's an all right theory, I guess. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. It's so funny that they have Santa too, like they carry over human traditions. It's hilarious. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin, of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> I forgot that one, so that's such a good one. All right. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. <laughs> dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on the keyboard for your dating hunt. <laughs> Wowee, I feel so informed. Crime, egg, population, reel it in, and Friday. And there's also a dog radar at the top. What are, what are these things? What do they have any relevance to anything? What is happening? Is it actually Friday today? I think it is actually Friday though. That's kind of cool. It actually knew what day it was. Huh. Or maybe it just always says Friday. I don't know. I have to go back and look at my other video. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wow, we! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes, I. the second I saw you, Papyrus, so deeply in love with you. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! Look at that tension meter, that's amazing. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> cool dude. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> my date power. It's through the roof! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course I know what this is. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silicon spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Of course I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No. Yeah, I know my noises were amazing, weren't they? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. 
Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait, that's wrong. I can't fill at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. You're so caring. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I'll definitely be calling you. Wow, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus' heartful helpline. Just describe your location and... I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room? Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. That didn't really help. Oh wait, wait, wait let's go try to open the door. Don't say it's locked, don't say it's locked. The door is locked. Freaking Sans. Stop it. All right, so we finished our day with Papyrus. Now we are going to venture forth. Whoa, that was weird. We're going to venture forth into the more scary section of. The beautiful and scary section of Undertale. Some of the underground caverns are super ominous, and other ones are like super fun just to be a part of. What does Sans have to say now? Let's hang out again sometime. All that gives my life validation explaining the echo flower. No one can know. That's so funny. He said it, and that's the reason I learned from it, is because of that. The sound of rushing water fills with. Oh, yeah, we already heard that. Never mind. We know what that one says. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Earlier, there was a box lover. So do I have anything I could put in the box? That's. I guess we can put both of those in the box, right? Because, hold on, I just want to make sure, no, I'm using toy knife and a manly bandana, okay, yeah. I have some relatively nice stuff, so I don't worry about that. Oh, dodge that stuff. What happens if I fall off? Oh, yeah. And then there's this. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. And so, that's gotta be Alphys' camera, right? Is that how you say your name, Alphys? 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 Dang it, come on, really? Can't believe I just did that. I think that is her camera. Pretty sure. I shouldn't have gone down there. I should have not even let her see me, and then she never would have known. Uh-oh. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I help you in any way I can.
The music is so good. Like, isn't this creepy? I think it's creepy. I'd be so still, it wouldn't even be funny. I wouldn't move again for days. Off of the eye disappears last. I'd be way too scared to do anything. Yo, did you see this way she's staring at you? That, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. That little kid is great. I think a feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I think the music here is my favorite music in the game. Like, it's so atmospheric right now, I can't even. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. It's so haunting, this music. It's... Oh. It gets to me every time. It's so beautiful. This guy's like a straight up boss musician, seriously. That sign down there, just so everyone knows. Oh, I hate this. Flex, you flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest, okay, flex more. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you. Nice, I won't lose though. I don't know what voice he should have. Oh, dang it. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you earned 30 gold. Dope. Yeah, that sign on there says, like, why'd you waste it to go this way or something like that? Here, let's just go look at it. I know, I know. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Maybe it says something about wasting your time or something. I do remember it from the last one. I don't remember exactly what it says, though, because it has been a little while. Go find out. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Oh, that's a says. <laughs> that's pretty funny. What do these mushrooms do? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge sheets back to where they started. I believe this is how you do it. Yes, it is. Uh, come here. Come here, you. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. I've already called you Papyrus. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I said no last time, and he's like, since you said you weren't wearing a bandana, I told you you were, so I'm gonna say yes. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it, wink wink. Have a nice day. Click. So I lied last time, but I don't know what'll happen this time if I'm honest. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now. All we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. Oh, this game feels like so much emotion. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. How can something attack me in that room? Let's clean it. Because it's a Washua to clean you. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet. Oh, get the green. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Washua's friends with a little bird. Spare. You were in a 25 gold. Nice. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope? Yes. And you go up to the top and it says, check wall. So what are these? Like, what is the stuff I'm looking at? It'd be cool if there was an Undertale 2. 
that went into much more depth. Is this... I bet the boat lady will take me here, boat person. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. That's crazy. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an il illustration of strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. That's weird. That's so weird, you're just like going across blackness. You can tell it's a lake, but you can't even see what's in it. It's so creepy. Oh, great. Gotta run from Undyne. This is such good battle music, though. Oh, dang it. Holy crap, I forgot. I forgot what happens if I get hit. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez, she's for real about this. That music is so it gives you so much tension. Undyne, that's messed up. <laughs> it's such a blunt, aggressive thing. She's like, are you kidding me? Oh, these dancing. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I wonder why are these dock? Why are all these docks here? I love this. This cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Oh, I hope that doesn't say that. Squeak! Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Yeah, we'll save. You always gotta save. Well, what's up, Sans? It's an odd looking telescope. Use the box? I could change my clothes, but I'm not gonna change my clothes. <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting into telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Uh, use the telescope, yeah. I don't remember, if there's, there's nothing really here, but I don't remember, I wanna know if there's ever something I can do with it. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Why, thanks, Sand. And then I have that thing in my eye. I remember that from last time, too. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? <laughs> I love that. Oh, this guy. This guy's funny. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Nice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. I have 205. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. The box contains one card. Take a card? Yes. You got a punch card. So now I'm gonna go back to the box. Store my punch card. I don't want the punch card. Oh, dang it, wrong button. Stored, done. Now I believe, yes. Oh, I didn't even know the duck was over there. All right, we will use this area later. That will be something we come back to. Oh, my favorite music. Yes. 
you hear a passing conversation. So, don't have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I was gonna say, there's no enemy encounters yet? Oh great, mold smalls. Let's spare, I don't want, I don't care about the gold. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Take it. You got the ballet shoes. Turn off, turn off. I have no idea if those mushrooms have any effect on the gameplay. I think that's the point of a lot of the things in this game, is that you're not supposed to understand them. But at a base level. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana! Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This is why you're safe and didn't lie, didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. All right. So can I change to use the ballet shoes? You equip ballet shoes instead of my manly bandana. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's my weapon? Crap. I messed up, guys. I messed up. Should have had a different item on than the banana. Don't get that choice. Aaron flexes in. Great, another Aaron. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Yeah, we know, we know. We know you want a flexing contest, bro. He's ready for your next flex. He flexes thrice as hard. Oh, whoa. And he's gonna flex himself out of the room. Bye. 30 gold. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, I love this part. Such an awesome thing. <gasps> oh, it's got the most beautiful face. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great you're here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh, it's so adorable. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Oh, he's got little tears in his eyes. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Oh. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall. Oh, that's such a sad. Why? Why does that guy have to be existing? I love this one. Siren? Yeah, Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow you encounters you anyway. Uh, you hum. You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Sorry, sorry, see me, see me, see me. Shiren team is much more comfortable singing along. Fight with the 30 gold. The northern room hides a great treasure. I know it does. Oh, I, ah, oh, crap, I gotta go farther, I remember. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. We'll find out. You gotta go over here. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. 
there is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. What does that mean, and now it never will? It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Of course. You took an umbrella. I think this song right here is also one of my favorites. This right here. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. He placed the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. I just think it's so cool how they reused the music in this game. That's a big part of it for anyone who understands Undertale. And it's cool when you hear the same tunes in little unexpected ways like this. That's why it's one of my favorites. Okay, so we've got circle up, circle up right, circle down, down right. 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 Circle. Circle up right, circle down, down right. I want to keep playing. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I did it, guys. Wait. Circle, circle up. Wait. I can't think of the rest of the song. I'm not I'm not that good at music, okay? I'm sorry. I was going to try to play more, but I can't. What happens if I just leave this here? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. Then you go to your thing and you have annoying dog. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Oh, man. I don't think you can ever do anything with with. The, I'm gonna leave the treasure there and see what happens. Cause if you, so what happens if you take it, if you throw the dog away, if you use the dog, whatever, he just steals the treasure. But I'm not gonna let him do that. Actually, I'm gonna just leave the treasure there. I don't know if that'll make any effect, but oh, it's so cool. Wait, let's hear it again. Oh, it just repeats itself. Repeats itself again. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Just repeats itself with part of the enemy. Take an umbrella? Take one. You took an umbrella. Because it's going to be raining in here. That reflection is so cool. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Over the river and through the woods. Through the scary cave we go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration, guy. This little kid definitely understands how I feel. I want that. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I am innocent. I hope she's really that cool. So we all gotta admit, this has got to be one of the best scenes in the game. It's because it's so perfectly unique, you know? Like, you see this and you're like, 
I don't know. Nothing else is like this, really. The only one that's like this is kind of like when you go into, at the beginning, when you went to Toriel and you went and you saw, she was like, you went to the grocery store and you saw the city in the background. That was really cool. But this, I don't know. There's just something special about it. So beautiful. I just can't get over it. I'm not going to put the umbrella away. Oh, I forgot I have to put the umbrella away. Dang it. Return the umbrella, put back. You return the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. 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 Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. That was so weird how that worked. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. I can tell. You always fall on your face, too. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Save. Alright guys, and so that is going to end this episode of our Undertale Pacifist Let's Play series. We went on a date with the Pirates. We went out to breakfast, lunch, whatever it was with um, Sans when we went to Grillbees. We saw Undyne for the first time. She tried to kill us. We escaped. And now we're going to try to meet her even farther. Now that'll be with the next episode entails. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button for new videos every single day. And don't forget to give that like button some love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's continue to create the greatest gaming community in the world. <laughs>